Hi, I'm Deborah Vogler, Senior Technical Editor of Photovoltaics World Magazine, reporting from Inner Solar North America. My guest is Mike Allison of Edwards. Welcome to the show, Mike. Thank you. First question for you. What technical challenges are solar PV manufacturers most concerned with now? What are they telling you about bending the cost curve further? Yeah, it's a good, very good question. Um, you know, we're involved in uh, all the key solar technologies and uh, mostly in the facilitization, uh, vacuum and abatement systems. For us, it's really about driving productivity, uh, driving the cost curve down, trying to find new solutions for the increasing materials, increasing uh, throughput of the key solar process equipment. So, you know, we're spending a lot of time developing next generation vacuum and abatement solutions, uh, trying to improve year-on-year -year costs. Uh, it's all about getting that cost per watt, and uh, you know we spend most of our time driving that, rather than on the technology side, which is mostly driven by the process equipment, um, we're focused most on the uh, vacuum and abatement side. What are some of the innovations you've come up with to actually bend that cost curve downward? Well, we've. Um, um, Edward spent many years in the uh, semiconductor business where yes. we have um, a lot of uh, real key technology um, and our dry pump technology for example. Uh, what we're doing there is taking um, that technology, expanding it on a larger scale to ensure we have the right um, uh, high productivity, extremely, um, extremely modern technology that we can adapt to the solar industry. And that's giving us pretty substantial throughput improvements, which also helps the PV manufacturers get, um, get more panel output. So, um, you know, that has 20, 30, 40% improvements in cost. Quite a big change. I wanted to turn attention now to standards, specifically EHS standards activities. How are those impacting your business? Yeah, well, the, uh, a key part of our bus business is um, abatement. Um, and abatement is protecting the environment essentially from the output of all the process uh, systems. So we're seeing an increasing uh, need for that across the world, starting in the US and Europe, where there's very tight environmental standards. But as the, as the business has quite, uh, the manufacturing footprints migrated to Asia, uh, we're seeing an increasing uh, requirement in Asia for our abatement systems. Uh, and that's good for the environment, it's good for everybody and we're trying to tie that in with our vacuum equipment, again, to make a good low-cost solution for the uh, overall PV industry. Last question for yeah. you, um, and then you'll, you'll get out of the hot seat, literally yeah. hot seat. <laughs> um, what about buzz at the show? What are you hearing? Are, are there concerns, issues, or what's the mood? What, what are you actually hearing from people you're talking to? Uh, well, it's been a fantastic show here. Um, you know, there's key executives from all over the world. Um, it's been a great place to network and, uh, and really get a pulse on where the industry is. Um, obviously, concerns about oversupply uh, in the second half of the year. I think, though, ex a lot of excitement about the future of solar. Um, there's so many new key technologies. Everywhere you go inside the hall, um, you know, you see new innovations to improve the... Um, the PV efficiency, and I think tremendous optimism that once we get through this, uh, you know, initial slowdown maybe for the next year, the the, uh, the growth in this industry is going to be phenomenal. So I expected to come here and have a negative mood. Um, in fact, it's been quite the opposite. I mean, tremendous optimism about the future. Very good. Well, thank you so much for being my guest. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Right.